Hi there, I'm Ginny of the YouTube channel Finickety Reader. I don't know if I've told you guys this, but I'm on the autistic spectrum. I'm self-diagnosed, because no one in my county is diagnosing adults, but I'm pretty sure it runs in the family. I haven't read a whole lot of books that touch on that, though, because all the non-fiction books tell me about your child, and I had a really bad experience with another amateur writer's interpretation of autism. That's why I was so happy and excited when I heard about A Boy Made of Blocks by Keith Stewart. I gave up after a hundred pages. I had real trouble empathising with the main character Alex. He just doesn't have a whole lot to recommend him. He's probably depressed, though that wasn't brought up before I DNF'd it. He says he loves his wife and son, but I wasn't seeing a whole lot of evidence of it. And he just doesn't seem to be able to make a decision or put effort into anything. I get that this is the beginning that he's got to grow from, but I need to see some grain of something good before I care if he gets better. And can we talk about Sam, the son, for a minute? Sam was the one I empathised with, but for at least those first hundred pages, he is treated more like a problem than a person. I know children with autism can be difficult to deal with, but the protagonist's focus on fixing him and making him abnormal is something that has always disturbed me from parents in the autism support community. I guess the biggest problem I had was that I thought this was a book about autism, but it's more about having a life that doesn't look the way you think it should, and failing to be some stereotypical image of a successful man, or having the life that you think you deserve. Maybe I brought too much personal baggage to this book as well. It has inspired me to look more into the autistic spectrum, though. So there's that. I expect to be hearing the review soon. I hope you found this video interesting, and you're having fun reading. You can like, subscribe, or be my friend on Goodreads if you want to. I'll talk to you later.